who's the team that everyone comes at you online and says, you hate my team the most? Like, who, who does Mike Rupp hate? Um, a lot of people think I hate Toronto. Um, Vancouver fans are honestly, they might be the worst fans out there. Uh, they're, they're, um, I just right now, like Vancouver, like, yeah, I, that, that team's got a horseshoe up there, you know, what, like all season long. Like, I mean, they, they, they I, I love what Rick Talk is doing with the group. They have a lot of individual players that I love. Uh, there's certain things about the team I love, but like, they're not really that good of a team, but they just find ways. Like I, it baffles me at how they do this, but they're doing it. So I have to start giving them credit, right? Like it's almost, they're almost like the Seattle Kraken of last year where Seattle played. And remember at the beginning of the year for a good portion of the year, they're like top five in goals four. And mm -hmm. um, you're sitting there you're like, this isn't going to last. Like this is going to run out at some point. Yeah. Well, it didn't until – couple rounds into the playoffs you know what i mean so like you can sustain that stuff for 82 they're an example so i thought this year vancouver is a little bit like seattle of last year like they're never going to be able to sustain this they have they did and uh you know here they are they're in the same kind of position i actually wouldn't be shocked if next year there was a big drop off from vancouver um but we'll see um i, I don't know i think vancouver fans are very touchy and um no. Uh, Toronto, Toronto fans are, uh, I think they, I, every, I don't know. I got I said something the other day. It's like my, my biggest thing with fan bases is an endorsement of one is not an indictment to another, right? Like if I mm -hmm. say, I find that with players too. Like, this is what drives me nuts. Sometimes if I'm talking about how great Connor McDavid is, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean I'm saying Nathan McKinnon stinks. That doesn't yeah. mean I'm saying Sidney yes, Crosby does. stinks. Like guys, where did you get that from? You know what I mean? Like if I'm like, wow, Connor McDavid, this guy is worth the, you know, the watch every night, stay up late on the East coast, watch this guy. They'll be like, you know, <laughs> let me know when he's got, let me know when he's got three cups, like Sid, I'm like guys, <laughs> can we just appreciate how good this guy is? You know what I mean? Like, why does it always have to like, everything's not a personal shot against you and your team. I'm just saying that this guy is good, you know? Oh man. Well, I mean, does, does yeah. the team realize that he's good, Rupper? Because he gets a stick to the face, gets fed his lunch, and they just kind of yeah. sat there and watched. I I don't know what you guys thought. Like, and this got me thinking because like I've never thought that there should be different rules for different players. Like, whenever people say that, I'm like, no, get out of here. This is the NHL. Yeah. This is, you know, there shouldn't be different rules. When I saw that though, I was like, that can't happen. <laughs> so I don't know. It's like when I see it happen, I didn't I didn't like like it at all. And honestly, yeah. I don't know what I would have done. Um yeah. I I, th I actually thought about this the other night. I'm like, I I think I would have I I probably could have jumped off the bench, to be honest with you. I mean, you, you could have asked if you could have that fight. Yeah, I could have may, may I just fight. Yes. <laughs> may I may I leave the bench and go jump somebody? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was um Hey, here, here's the thing that gets me, and I don't know if it has had any impact or whatever, but the David Pasternak situation, I love this stuff. So when David Pasternak goes out and fights Matthew Kachuk the other day, yes, I don't want my guys fighting. I don't want David Pasternak fighting. But there's something to be said, like, in a situation where things are getting out of hand, like, if a guy like me or a guy that you, you would expect to respond that way does it, it's still great. It still galvanizes a team. But when a guy who doesn't do that stuff, right, when a guy that's willing to, um, you know, maybe even swallow the pride of who he is does it, like that's what makes the needle move. It's the fact that David Posternak is like, hey, I'll get down and dirty with you guys because I'm one of you. And his post-game comments saying, you know, I'm not afraid of Matthew Kachuk. I'm not, you know, I can take a punch mm -hmm. in the face. The next thing got me where he's like, I'll do anything for these guys. All right, we'll show it. He did. OK, so when you go to that situation with McDavid the other night, they had Zadar, Zadorov on the ice. We had Susie on the ice. They, they, you know, Vancouver had tougher guys because, you know, Edmonton and all their skill guys are trying to get a goal there late. And but. It doesn't matter. You still stand up and do what's right in that moment for your team. You saw your franchise look. You almost got decapitated on the play. 
Yeah. Like you should be flying in there. I don't care if you're Ryan Nugent Hopkins. It's actually probably better if you're Ryan Nugent Hopkins. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fly in there and just, I, I don't know, Do just something. jump on the back of Zadora of something. You know yeah. what I mean? And the fact that nothing happened, if you're going to sit there and wait for Evander Kane to get on the ice, not, I don't know if you're as close as I thought. You know, like yeah. that, that stuff kind of bugs me. Well, until remember, like, it's like, it's like in 04 when Lecavie and Ginla fought, right? It was the most <laughs> momentum yeah. swinging thing in that series. Like no one thought Vinny was going to fight, and then he did, and that was like for both teams. It was kind of like a huge lift for everybody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's the teams that you're talking. The margin of differences between these teams, the margin of winning and losing, is so so thin in this league that certain things like that and some people are like oh that's that's hero stuff like that's that stuff doesn't matter like that's dinosaur stuff it matters man <laughs> it matters like i know i've been there i i i i remember distinctively being in dallas playing for playing with pittsburgh and we're getting our rear ends handed to us and we've lost five in a row and sydney crosby goes out there and drops the gloves and i'm sitting there like I took that as a like I took that as he's the last guy that should be doing this. So that makes me and everybody else feel like you know enough's enough, you know. And it, and it kind of I don't know, but the fact that he showed he's willing to do it, it wasn't like yeah, it wasn't like hey, you know, like I've played, I've played, I've played for teams before where I've had a I've had a skill guy come up to me and say, hey, Rupper, this guy's following me around, driving me crazy. Can you take care of him? And I'm like. I'm not sure that's how this works. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, and 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 it's fine. Like, you'll do those things because that's your job and your role. But like, just be connected with each other, you know. And if you know that if if Connor McDavid or if you're on the ice with Connor and something happens, that's the privilege of playing with Connor. You gotta you gotta you gotta get uncomfortable, man. The NHL playoffs about getting uncomfortable. They did not get uncomfortable in that situation. I'm a little concerned. I just. Don't think that Vancouver's that good, and I think they end up moving on and winning that series. Yeah, that's fair. And for the Boston Florida series, like you just talked about, different rules for different players. Do you feel like that's what we saw with Sam Bennett jacking Marshan in the face? Like, if it's someone that's not Marshan with all his antics, do you think there's more consideration for supplemental discipline? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think that that was. Um, I think that there's. I did first off, I didn't notice that until it was pointed mm -hmm. out, right? And I know on social media kind of got some run. Um I heard, you know, uh in the post-game interview, I think with TNT the other night, Bennett was explaining it. And I actually understand what he's saying, but still you 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 punch the guy in the face. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so whether it's there's an explanation that makes sense of how that happened, or even by accident, you still gotta you gotta be responsible. Um I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really think that I, I think, I think it's funny from the Bruins fan standpoint to be all up in arms when it happens um, because, you know, again, you, you have Brad Marchand on your team, you know, like, and there's been plenty of things documented, but you know, I don't think none of that goes, comes into play um, with supplemental discipline. Now w referees and calls on the ice for certain kind of, you know the way that the way that you're perceived by the refs. I don't think that stuff matters. That's human nature. I don't think it's ever like, oh, we're gonna set out to get this guy. But if you know, if uh, if a guy's flopping, he's not gonna get the benefit of the call, right? Like if there's certain things that happen, and I feel like sometimes when you take two gritty players, guys that kind of are dirty, and Marchand and Bennett are that. When when those guys collide, I think it's just like, hey. Those guys, that's what they do, and there's riffraff happening between the two. That they both want it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I get I think that that's maybe the way they look at that. But um, yeah, I don't think that that was ignored because it was Brad Marchand. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm.